Hello everybody, the reading is Luke chapter 4 verses 5 to 8. The devil led him to a high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor, for it has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want to. So if you worship me, it will be all yours. Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Well, thank you very much for that reading, Judy. And in this process this week, as we look at repentance, as we look at things we need to turn away from, and we see Christ, how he was tempted in the desert. And we think of what this temptation was. It was a temptation of power. What does the proverb say? That the leech has two daughters, give, give. And it's that temptation we all have for, for greed. And when we see Jesus' temptation, it's all in the pattern of Deuteronomy. And how they were led through the desert. And one of the things the Lord says is, don't forget the Lord. Don't forget the good things that he's done for you. And that's what the devil is tempting Jesus with here at this moment. Is to forget God. Just take his stuff and forget him. And follow other gods. And how does the devil come and entice us? How does, what is his method? You know, because the, the great thing about this temptation, in one way, although we're seeing what's in Jesus' heart, we're almost seeing what's in the devil's heart. He is being exposed and how he lures us and seduces us. And what does it say? The devil led him to a high place. That's a very interesting, before we go in any further, is how many of you has the devil led you to a high place? He hasn't given you anything yet, but he's going to offer a whole lot. And that temptation of height is attractive, isn't it? You don't take somebody low to offer them something. You take them up to a place where they can have a, a grand view of all that is an offer. And the devil plants these seductions and these dreams into our hearts. All for a price though. And what happens when Jesus sees it? He sees all the kingdoms in an instant. And it's, it's almost like in such a short space of time, you, you've seen more than you've ever seen. How many people have said that if someone's gripped and somebody says, he's away with the fairies, he is, he is attached to this, he's gripped by it. And that, that view where Jesus Christ has been taken up and he's shown all the kingdoms, and it's, it's like all the sinful desires inside of you have been stirred at once. You see, the devil knows what he's doing when he takes you to a high place. He knows how to um, tickle those sinful desires inside of you. He knows that you want this big view of life. And, but it's, how interesting is it that before he gives anything, he seduces you first. And he shows Jesus in an instant. And that's a very important word when you're being tempted, is that word instant. We live in a world that wants instant everything. And it's a temptation where the devil will tempt you for instant success, instant gratification, instant pleasure. Always remember, you haven't got it yet, but you've seen it. You haven't, you haven't got it yet, but you're gripped by it. And what are you gripped by? You're gripped by its volume, its magnitude. It says that you show them all, all the authority and the splendor of those kingdoms. And what are you saying? This is the best the world has to offer you. And how many people have that dream inside, that, that drive inside? The devil has took them to a high place. The devil has offered this before them. And he says to you, I will give you all their authority and splendor. It has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. And there's the small print. What the devil says to you is, you can be boss as long as I'm boss of you. I'll let you be, feel like you're free. I'll let you feel like it's all yours. But the small print is, you've got to worship me. You've got to, you've got to turn away from God. You've got to rebel. You've got to, you have to have, need that appetite of rebellion in order to break, embrace my way. And make no mistake, the devil really does these deals. He really does have it to offer. 
Make no mistake, he comes to us in that way. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is tempted in every way like we are. You may think, oh, this is a special temptation for Christ, but it's a temptation that he offers all of us. He said, I'll give, I'll give you all this. You can have all this in exchange for your soul. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world, yet loses his soul? What does it profit Christ if he gained the whole world, yet lo we're lost? We see, the devil looks for the avenues. He looks for people and hearts that are willing to go astray. And he loves to hear people who say, do you know what, I'll, I'll do anything to get ahead. I'll do anything to be famous. I'll do anything to get what I want. God's not against success. God's not against career. God's not against doing things well. But it must be an honest and truthful way. It's not going to be at the cost of your soul. It's not going to be at the cost of rebelling against the Lord. But when he sees us that we're willing, no matter what it takes to have success, well, the devil says, I'll, I'll give you a shortcut. I'll, I'll have a, I have a way. And it's that offer, isn't it? He says, what you need to do is rebel, rebel against God and then you have freedom. He says it to Eve in the garden, isn't it? Disobey the, the Lord's command. Even though he spoke it plainly. Disobey and you're going to find freedom in your life. And what is, our temp what is our answer to this sort of temptation? Well, look what Jesus answered. He said, it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Don't underestimate, underestimate what has been written. What his answer is, Jesus' answer is simply no. I'm not going to worship you because there's something way better. You, the devil may offer you all these kingdoms, but he doesn't offer forgiveness. He doesn't offer healing. He doesn't offer love. He doesn't offer eternal life. And if you want to go and follow him, you're going to have to exchange all those things for that. He doesn't offer you truth. He's, the devil is not the father who is in heaven. The devil is the, the father of lies. He's the murderer who is still on earth. The devil is a liar. He's condemned to hell. And, and what it does is that bad relationships rob us of the good relationships. Lies will rob you of truth. And the devil's offer of giving is really robbing you of something that's already been given. And what does Jesus say? I'm going to worship the Lord who is God. I'm going to worship the one who truly does save. I'm going to worship the one who truly does help. Who truly does love. And what he's saying to the devil is keep your kingdoms. Keep your kingdoms and your dodgy deals. Because he said I've got something way better. And, and do that when the devil comes to tempt you in an instant. Because that's how it happens. All It's like in a flash. You have this thought. You have this desire in your heart. And you're gripped by it. You've seen so much inside. Yet you've got so little to show for it. But inside you have this big vision. This big pride of being able to obtain so much. And all without God. All with, all with the expense of rebelling against God. And the devil said, you can rebel against the Lord, you can be your own boss, you can satisfy all your own selfish desires. And just, as long as you worship me, you can be boss as long as I'm boss of you. And Jesus says, no, there's something way better. There's something more eternal, there's something more lasting. And that, that's the cross. Jesus is willing, he loves us so much, he's willing to reject all the kingdoms. In exchange for saving you and me. Is that he, he, he rejects the kingdoms in order to suffer on the cross. And what we need to say when the devil is tempting us. And our different temptations is say I've got something way better. I've got something way better than this. 
And I worship the Lord. The Lord has my devotion. The Lord has my excitement. The Lord has my commitment. The Lord, I, my faith is in the Lord. And Jesus says, I will serve him only. I, will, I want his will to come. I want his kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. So the next time the devil begins to bring you up, you take the devil down by telling them the truth. You tell them what has been already written. There is a place already where I can have a life. There is a place where already I help. There is a place where, and when we, we through Christ we've been given everything anyway. It's, it's a dodgy deal that the devil is trying to give us. And we see through it. And I'm going to say to I'm going to the one who really gives me life, the one who has forgiven my sins, the one who has cleansed me and given me righteousness for all eternity. So today, this morning, remind the devil what has been written and how you are committed to that, how you worship the Lord who has been God to you. God bless you and have a great day. Take care.